available at Paul. Will be available at halftime. Okay.
touchdowns to only six interceptions. Ready to go on a first down and 10. Two wide receivers to the far side. The lone setback and Dutton's rolling out, passing on the first play. Reception at the 45 yard line. Catching the football from the battle, Jeff Noisy. Did I not hear you say, Jeff, that he kind of the first down and 10 yards to go wide outs either way with the lone setback once again. Dutton under center at the 45. First down and 10, 20 on his first play from a scrimmage by way of the pass. This time they will attempt the run, not much there, about four yards. Brian Williams makes the stop. 380, who's no longer on the team, so they can run the football. Three wide outs, two to the far side, Dutton rolling out again. Comes up short on a hook pattern at the 38 yard line. It is the first down, Key and Laws. Both side comes Jeff Noisy. And there's the quick out to hit the tight end, Trevor Inslee. He's got 10 points oh, under the football, but he fumbled it out of bounds. I believe they will call it Adam. Inslee, their big wide receiver, is a true freshman, and he's had just an outstanding season. Well, he's caught a couple of passes so far, 28-yard line, first down and 10, and Dutton this time on the give to Lemon. The running back, he gets outside. Rasimhan Gilko tracked him down at about the 18-yard line, but he'll be close to a first down and keep the pickup of about nine and a second down and one. We've only gone two minutes in the game, and already Nevada has come from 19. It is a first down and 10 yards to go for the Wolfpack. Dutton at the 19. Four wide receivers. Back to throw is Dutton. He's got a crossing pattern complete to Jeff Noisy. He's down inside the 15 for a first down. It's at the Ball State end zone. Lemon the wide, the uh, the only setback behind Dutton, and he will get the call. Wrinkles to the 15. He's cut behind the line of scrimmage. Aaron Daylock, the senior from Findlay, Ohio, hitting back on the 16-yard line. That'll be a loss of at least two, perhaps three. But it's a second down and 13. 11.55 to play in the first quarter. Three wide outs, trips to the far side for Dutton. Lemon. The long setback behind him, and Dutton with the quick drop. Over the middle, there's a touchdown coming up. Touchdown! 16-yard touchdown to Devon Wilkins. Wilkins all alone at the 10-yard line. And Dutton just... Kickoff will bounce out of bounds at the 12-yard line, so the Cardinals get a break there. Uh, approach his career best running the football. Wide out either way for Baldwin, the graduate student from Osceola, Indiana, Penn High School. And the handoff will go to Michael Blair. Michael dives over the 35 to about Marcellus Davis listed as the, the starting wide out. Dane Wheeler, the tight end, as we're set to go on a second down, about seven yards to go. Four minutes are gone in the first quarter of play, and the Cardinals trail the Wolfpack by a score of 6 to nothing. Shotgun, the handoff, Leandre Moore tries to wrinkle it back, and he smothered the 40 yard line. And then receivers both sides for the Cardinals, and Baldwin will stay in the shotgun on a third down and six from his own 39-yard line. There's the snap. Baldwin looking, got a wide open receiver at the 46-yard line. That should be a first down. And on all three different plays, Cardinals just feel like they have to establish they can run the football in Nevada. On the 45-yard line, the handoff to Michael Blair, and Michael will bulldoze for about nine. That's a quintessential Michael yep. Blair right there. And if they can run the football and not be stuck in a lot of third down and six or seven, eight-yard situations. Freshman Adrian Reese is the wide out to the close side, and there's Baldwin back to pass. Chased out of the pocket, runs the football. Collins from behind and thrown. 
for a one-yard loss and a big play by Justin Tenpenny again. Ohio. Bill Lynch's Cardinals going with two wide outs either way for two consecutive plays now, and Baldwin back in the shotgun again. Look out. He rushed. He gets the move. He runs to the 50. He cuts back to the 45 and goes down to the 43. All the way the first down of the 10-yard pick up for Ben Baldwin. Great recognition for I say he's deceptively fast. And, and he agrees. He said, come chase me sometime. <laughs> Baldwin is hit from behind. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Big sack that time. And that's Deshaun Myers. Jeff and the coach talked about him on the pregame. Can you come up with it's different? We'll see if Bill Lynch has got anything different for the Ball State offense tonight. Trips to the coast side for Ball State. Baldwin almost turned into a defender, but he's run it all the way, and he put that after about a yard. Win. Again, just what the Cardinals don't want a uh, chance to throw into the teeth of the Nevada defense. Third down 11 from the 45-yard line, and Baldwin's back. The rush is on. He throws with a man on him, and it's incomplete for almost legs. The offender receiver downfield for the uh, Ball State University Cardinals. Good ball. He will kick it from about his own 45-yard line. And back in receivership, the Nevada Wolfpack at the 10-yard line. A bit of a high snap, but Maynard puts a high wobbly kick up, and it will bounce at the 5 and go into the end zone. For the Ball State Cardinals will play defense as the Wolfpack team can be high. Let's see if the uh, Wolfpack has come back down a little bit, and if the defense can uh, get them to go out. Well, they will go back to throw. John Dutton will... Oh, great pass on the far side. I almost said that he overthrew him. It's twins either way. For John Dutton, Lemon, the lone setback, and this time he gets the, the foul on the draw, and he's eaten alive. Damon Hummel, the soft for the first time tonight. Ready at the 29-yard line. It's a second down and 15, and Dutton's back to pass again. He's got a wide open receiver for a first down. Going to the 50-yard line, and just beyond it, Aaron Greylock with got seven first downs already in this first quarter. Just over the 50. Dutton on the first down and 10. The handoff to Lemon. He whips for five, six, seven, eight, nine yards to the 41-yard line of Baltic. Seven of seven, 88 yards here in the first quarter. You're giving me nothing but... Well, I wish I had something else to report. Right. Back to throw is Dutton on the rollout. Play action, and it is incomplete. Drop for the intended receiver that time, and again. Marks is there. The only turning offensive lineman. I think that's amazing. Yeah, a little flat pass, and it's caught. Incomplete, right. but we do have a, a flag thrown. Inslee caught the ball. It would be a first down, but the flag is thrown in the Nevada backfield. So they will go a little bit of man coverage in this game. At least for tough receivers to handle that way. Third down. Seven yards to go, and a completed pass for a first down. Again, they go to Trevor Inslee. In season, Noisy and Wilkins were the two big targets, but so far it's been Trevor Inslee. And Wilkins, the motion man, is overthrown. He was running difficult when you get that situation. 35-yard line, again, four wide receivers, two either way. Lemon, the long setback behind junior quarterback John Dutton. He throws the crossing pattern, complete to Jeff Noisy. Noisy's to the 30, down to the 25, and run out of bounds at the 22-yard line, but it's enough for another first. Noisy and Wilkins. Wilkins has the touchdown pass, which went for 16 yards with 11.34 to play in quarter number one. It's a first down from the 23-yard line. Button's back to throw. He's going to be tipped up and sacked. Oh, no, back to the 24 and 21 line. Simon Gunther, who got him in Jeremy Whiskey at the 39-yard line. It's a second down and 27, and Dutton right back to pass again. And he hits his receiver. Elbow makes the hit at the 29. His lemon. Dutton the drop back. Throws down the middle. It's complete. But Alabama did not stop. David Rick guards two receivers, each with four catches, but it's six to nothing with two minutes to play in the first. Dutton, a traditional drop back quarterback, gives off the limb in his tailback, who rambles to the five. So it'll be second down. Uh, five minutes of this possession. It's been a long drive for Nevada to get to the Cardinal five. Second down and five yards to go for the first down, and Dutton on the rollout. Play action in the end zone. Receiver must have fallen down. Got a third down, and it's not cold, but a third down and about five at the six. Well, watch Wilkins. He caught the first touchdown pass. Noisy is the wide out to the close side. And Dutton goes back to pass, and he's got the rush. He throws incomplete into the end zone. Great pressure. 
for the Cardinals defense that time and coming in for the Ball State Cards, a big play defender for Ball State in 1996. Damon Shea will attempt the field goal. This will be a 22-yard effort. Will be placed down at the 12-yard line. It's down, it's up, and it is good. We have a timeout of the field. position. Set to go on the first down and 10 and Brent Baldwin. Mishawaka Penn High School looks either way. The I formation behind him. Michael Blair is the running back and Michael picks his way through for five, maybe six yards. Michael Blair, vintage Michael from the 45. They stood up and Michael took advantage of it. Second down and four. Michael Blair trying to get outside and just doesn't have the speed. He hit at the line of scrimmage. Two players are there. The five-yard line, and where everybody kind of kidded him about being caught from behind after going 70 yards. Michael's forte is not speed; it's tough for him to get to that corner. Nine to nothing behind Nevada. Second quarter coming your way. On when Brett Campbell had a chance, uh, that's why he's in there. I think he just certainly is one of the Cardinals' quickest receivers, and they, they got to find a way to get their receivers open. Giesman and Davis are in as wide receivers now for the Cardinals. Baldwin almost exclusively in a shotgun as he's getting heavy pressure. He gets outside, but not too long, and he's held on. That's Mike Parker, the linebacker, all over Brett Baldwin. 12, so Brad Maynard has a real opportunity to air one out here. He can kick this one. 65 yards. It's a high mounting kick all the way down to the 15-yard line. Picked up at the 15. The run back to the 21. They get a six-yard run back, and that's a 47-yard kick for Brad Maynard. The run over. It'll be a first down and 10 for the Wolfpack at their own 21-yard line with 14:09 to play in the half. A nine-to-nothing Nevada lead. Don't forget Saturday. Jeff and I will be back at University Arena. We'll get right back to basketball. Wisconsin Ball State game, the 30th of December, the Sycamores of Indiana State at University Arena. There's the fake handoff. Dutton on the rollout, and he's got a wide open receiver again. Out to the 40 line, out to the 43-yard line, so another big pass play. First down and 10. John Dutton so far has been excellent for the Wolfpack. Big kid, passes well. Oh, Oh, fumble on a handoff, and I think the Wolfpack just barely got there. I think Russo don't have a bunched up situation at all defensively, and they're trying hard to put pressure on Dutton, but he's getting a quick release, and he's also not dropping back very far, and he's getting good protection. Three wideouts again. This time he will hit the Damon Wilkins, but he had a chance for the Cardinal defense to get off the field. Set to go. Third down, 11 for John Dutton, the quarterback. Back to throw. The rush is on. He has to hurry. And it is. Did he catch it? Oh, well, it's incomplete. That's a great call. Jeff Moise, he said he caught the ball. I thought the longest punt of the season, 56 yards. Keon Laws waiting back on the 10-yard line. He ran one back for a touchdown earlier this season. Would like to do that again. Main thing is to get a good catch of the ball. This will be a bad kick unless it gets a great bounce, and it doesn't. That'll be a very short kick. The 38-yard line of balls to nothing on the scoreboard. They've got a chance after a defensive stop. They need to start thinking. I know they're thinking points, but now they need to produce and execute. 37-yard line, first down and 10. Baldwin on the handoff to Leon Gray Moore. He'll score the loose to the 50. Oh, Outside speed to the control. The 
63 yards. And now Brett Walker, the first team all-conference place kicker, will try to make it a 9-7 ball game. It's down. It's off. It is good. Right out of the field. The Cardinals get a quick seven. The score, Nevada 9. Ball State 7 back with the Ball State kickoff. And just a little bit Ball State Cardinals football country from Las Vegas, North Carolina, on 104.1 WLBC. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we'll see more of Michael Blair, but they really wanted to inject some speed, I think, and that's what Leandre gave them. 9-7, to seven, the Cardinals trail now, and the kickoff return by Nevada. They'll bring it back. Oh, great hit by the Cardinals. At the 22 yard line, Perry Gilliard came in to wipe out the run back, man. Not just a super effort for Corey. And let's hope the leveling continues and that the Nevada will back the Cardinals start to figure them out. John Dutton from the 22 yard line in the rollout this time. Oh, he throws that one away. I thought it was going to be out of bounds anyway. That would not have been caught in bounds. It was covered. And root for the red down at BW3 in the University Village. Let's, Thanks for listening. Let's hear it for the Cardinals down there. It'll be a second down and 10 yards to go for the Wolfpack. They lead it 9-7. to seven. Back to throw is Dutton. Short drop. Quick out. Got a receiver. And then Denon Wilkins again catching the football while well short of the down situation. It's a dart for Deco. Third down and five. The ball at the 28 yard line. Dutton's back to pass. Warlock to fix the ball. First down. Aaron Warlock, the senior from Finley. And Jeff Dutton did a good rush out as well. But it was Aaron Warlock coming in from the close side. Dutton got the ball up for Warlock to fix it away. It's fourth down five. Nevada now will have to show its pulling medal from deep in its own territory. They say what truly Leandre Moore's 63 yard touchdown run was critical. I don't mean to discount that, but the defense now two straight times has made good plays on third down and gotten off the field. Jason McLean is the kicker. He'll boot the ball from near his 15-yard line. He had laws the junior from South Bend LaSalle. That ball seemed to be tapped as well. It hits the 50 down to the 40, rolling to the 40 and beyond to the 35. He got a super roll out of a bad punt. Yeah, that's the injustice, I guess, of Astro Let's see what the Cardinal offense does in possession number four. Just don't make any mistakes. Don't uh, let Nevada have any advantage. Brent Baldwin from the 32-yard line. The quick pitch, Michael Blair tries to get outside and does from the 22 to perhaps the 24. Crawford and uh, Justin Tenpenny have been the big defenders. Manuel Compass and Brent Campbell are the wideouts, and Michael Blair gets the call. There's nothing there. Michael Blair took the ball, and uh, Campbell are the wideouts. Ed Abernathy in the slot to the far side. Baldwin in the shotgun the whole game so far. Look out. He's down. Again, it's Mike Crawford. Mike Crawford is really giving the Cardinal offensive line all sorts of fits. It's a fourth down, and Crawford was there, and Brad Maynard, the All-American kickers, back on the field. Well, here's the perfect example. I guess they want to put the, uh, the hex on Brad. I don't think he needs us to hex him, but here's where you got a lot of field to work with, almost 70 yards, and you got uh, Nevada back in deep punt coverage. Don Morgan back there at the 25-yard line, a chance to put Nevada inside their 25. No wind at all as Maynard will kick it from his 20 into the stratosphere. Morgan waiting. Oh! He's wiped out and flags are thrown. The Cardinals are going to be guilty of an illegal hit. That was a good ball. Down to hit Morgan. Kippers are flaring. I think Nevada feels that old ball gave him a cheap shot. Morgan was will have it at their own 36-yard line. They've only got two wide receivers this time. I don't know what's occurring. They normally have four. There's Lemon, the uh, tailback, and he's hit. He got a yard at the line. Of track to three wide receivers, Noisy, Wilkins, and Inslee for quarterback John Dutton. Straight drop back. Takes his time. It's tapped. It is incomplete. Boy, tapping the football was Aaron Graylock. Third down play for Nevada again. From the 37-yard line, Dutton's back to pass. The Rams deflected again. Knocking it down for the Cardinals. It was uh, Don Rigg. Don Rigg easily got the hand out and knocked it down. What's that, three or four? They are causing all kinds of problems for Dutton right now. Well, adjustments have been made, as you indicated, by Coach Bart and his defense in another punting situation for McLean. It's a high snap. He has to win. Right now, they just made a huge play in this first.
first half. And Troy Ramey made a huge tackle, so McLean could not go for the first down. We've got a put it to have made that big a play, and then they get in the first down. That's right. Baldwin has been in shotgun since early in the game. There's uh, fake to Leandre Moore. Brett moving around, dodging tackler after tackler, and finally gets the ball out, but it's knocked down. Well, just, just good aggressive. Still at the 46-yard line, and Brent Baldwin calls time out. You're right. I agree with you that there was no reason to pack it in. Too much time to go in the game, and we've seen them come back too many times from adversity. Ball State set to go as Brent Baldwin back in shotgun. Takes a look around, and there's the rush on him. He shows a little short out. Throws a little short out, and it's a completed pass to the 40. And Lockler got the PAT to give the Cardinals their seven. For third and nine from the 40. Need to get to the 31. Baldwin, a quick popper across the middle to Adrian Reese, and it's incomplete. Nevada was scoring on every possession. He'll try to pooch it inside the 10-yard line, and he is so skillful at decking the opponents inside the 10. There's that little high floater. Too much distance, though, I think. Oh, ball was down. Trying. Whether or not the, they are sufficient, or whether the defense can continue to force Nevada to punt. Dutton chased out of the pocket, throws low. And again, he's the quarterback, and it wasn't until the fifth game he was really handed the job as the starting quarterback, and boy, did he ever do something with it. Second down and 10, they go with a sprint run, and the Cardinals wrap him up at the 15-yard line. Running the football was Alex Gresham. And on 10 yards to go, Nevada back with its 18-yard line. Big third down play for the Cardinal defense. Back to throw his button. He gets it away, and it's complete. First down, 35-yard line. Big but first down of the first half for Nevada. Ball State has just three. And the Cardinals are down, 9-7, to seven, and there's Gresham again running the football. Yep. They said yesterday that they still felt like they had to stop the run first before they could even think about the pass. There's Dutton on a quick out, and a nice tackle by Aaron Braylock. He caught Damon Wilkins in the wide open field that time and caught him from behind. Wilkins with great speed, but Greylock wouldn't let him get you know, by. It's a short gain of two, third down and six. I said, yeah. Well, he's been playing with pain, a lot of uh, pain in that injured elbow he's had most of the season. It's third down and five. Dutton back to pass. He swings it up to Gresham out of the backfield of the game. He shakes loose. Look, he had him three yards short of the stick. I'm not sure he got there anyway. It'll either be a fourth down and a yard or first down and ten for Nevada. It's short. play. Again, it's Keon Laws, and boy, Keon has really been busy in this second quarter of play. In our broadcast booth is the former head football coach at Ball State University for 10 years, Paul Shudell. And I tell you, I've never seen a coach squirm around wanting to be on the field or doing something. He's in agony up here. Jeff's going to talk with him at halftime. But That's how excited he was. At the 31-yard line, it's a second down and four yards to go. Dutton back to pass. Little flip across the middle, and they got another completion. This is noisy. Hook from behind. Oh, bombing him from behind was Brian Williams, and he hit him a ton, but not until noise. Dimes back in. Nevada the 21-yard line, and, and Lemon gets the call. Lemon down to the fifth. Back He's making the contact, but uh, no linebackers uh, in the play. At the 15, and again, Chris Lemon will bang it down near the 12 on the second. Doesn't happen. 
I tell you, 12 to 7 at half plays right into the hands of the Ball State Cardinals. Yes, they'd like to be ahead, but uh, it would not be a bad half of football. Well, a five-yard lead, in, or five-yard, or five-point lead in football is not a very big lead. 23-yard line, a 33-yard field goal. It's down, it's up, it's hooking, but it goes good. He got the field goal, get four seconds to play, and makes it a 12 to seven game. Out of line, Jeff, the Cardinals have come up with a position to win the game, down by five at halftime, 12 to seven, but there are 44 seconds left, and they'll scrub it down the middle, and waiting for it, the Cardinals, Leandre Moore, 20, 25, there he goes. Oh, they tripped him up at the 33 yard. Set to go on the 34-yard line. BSU first down and 10, and Baldwin back in the gun. A little quick out. In That's right. Second and 10 for the Cards. 34-yard line down. 12 to 7 here late in the half. Baldwin again back in the gun. Throws one. Boy, he threw a bullet that time to the 41-yard line. It was tough by Ed Abernathy, and there is a flag. Well, that's going to be an interesting flag. Yeah. I guess you're going to have 50-plus range. So you're going to have to get deep into Nevada territory. And Baldwin goes back to play. Out. Steps up, look out from behind. He throws long, and it's over the hill. A late hit. But nevertheless, Manuel Compass, four wide receivers for Brent Baldwin with 25 seconds showing in the clock. Throws the quick out and getting the ball and getting out of bounds. Three-yard touchdown run in the, first, uh, in the early part of the second quarter. 45-yard line in Cardinal territory. They're down 12-7. And Baldwin throws this one away. Ed Abernathy, the only group punter, Brad Maynard, headed to the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Another thunder kick. Boy, the height and the hang time, and it'll go inside the 10 and be down at the six-yard line. Corey Gilliard catches the ball at the six, so Maynard, a super kick. It won't make much difference with five seconds to play in the half. I doubt that Nevada will uncork their 94-yard touchdown pass play, although I'm I guess sure their attack the scoreboard. Doesn't matter how many yards you give up, it's how many points you give up. This defense just 12. John Dutton will sneak it up the middle. On the other hand, Jeff, I would say on the other That's right. why I think the Ball State goes to the locker room at halftime in pretty darn good shape, 12 to 7. And that's our halftime score as both teams leave the field. The Ball State Cardinals trail the Nevada Wolfpack at halftime, 12 to 7. Jeff will come back with all the halftime stats.
And as the uh, second half goes on, go away. When we come to that. Hello, everyone. Uh, My name is Chris Taylor here at the Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, with Ball State University in Las Vegas. In the regular game, which it looks like. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Taylor here at Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, and Nevada, with Ball no State University and the Las to, Vegas uh, Bowl Five. Reminding you for all the latest in Ball State athletics, join me once a month right here for Cardinal Sports Talk 17. on WIPB. Same thing. Thank you, Tom. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Taylor here in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Sam okay, Boyd Stadium you, with Ball State University and the Las Vegas Bowl Five. Reminding you, for all the latest in Ball State athletics, join me every month right here on WIPB for Cardinal Sports Talk. One more. Hello everyone, my name is Chris Taylor, the host of Cardinal Sports Talk here on WIPB Channel 49. For all the latest in Ball State Athletics, be sure to join me every month well, right Jeff here for Cardinal Sports Talk on Channel 49. A week ago Wednesday and followed the Ball State. And in Shea got a 33-yard field goal with 44 seconds to play in the first half and made it a 12 to 7. Three rushing yards for the Cardinals. And the Cardinals' Marcellus Davis has caught all three of the completions from Brent Baldwin. Ed Abernathy caught one, but a pass interference took that away from him. And uh, it's a short kickoff, and the Cardinal up back will have to take this one. And who's got it? Looks like a big Cardinal tied in. Brian Vandele got the ball, and he did a nice job of running the ball back. I thought for a moment he wasn't going to run the football back, but went through here the last 30 minutes of football. Well, let's get something on first down and get it underway in the second half of play. Hope you're enjoying our exclusive radio coverage on 104.1 WLBC in Muncie. Michael Blair plows to the front for three. Mike Whiteout's close side. Baldwin with the I formation this time and is under center for one of the few times since the early portion of the ball game. The quick pitch, Michael Blair gets outside, first down. Over the 50, down to the 40, but I think he ran out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Back to the bread and butter. And I don't think anybody's going to get that kind of number tonight, but you can still dominate the time of possession and be productive and get points. Leandre Moore is in for Michael Blair after Michael ran two consecutive times and got the first down on the pitch. And this time it's Leandre trying to squirt up the middle. Not much. Perhaps three yards. Games. He had eight starts two years ago as a true freshman. He's got another year left, and I think you'll see him in the NFL. Yeah, he's a tough kid. Big, too. Ready. Out of second and about seven. Leandre, he's alive. There's nothing there. You have the kind of athletes on defense that this Big West champion no. Nevada does. Baldwin's back in the gun again, standing back on his 50. Not much drop. Oh, a little short pass. It was just short of Michael. We're right out of the end zone the entire second half, and they just had a couple of opportunities of good field position. Maynard will try to kick it high. Boy, he does kick it a mile high. This will be inside the 20 and caught at about the 22. Moving up to catch the football. So on the performance of one or two yeah. vital kicks or defensive plays, these are big games for these young men. Or maybe even millions. That's the way the NFL goes now. There's the fake rolling out. Dutton intercepted by Corey Gilliard. That's the kind of play. And right there, I was talking about Corey Gilliard intercepted the ball at the 34-yard line and had a catch it was. It was kind of a Willie Mays over the shoulder type of catch for Corey Gilliard. He caught it in bounds. He was headed out of bounds, but he got the job done. And boy, Dutton never expected Gilliard, the safety, to cut in there and get it. The Cardinals have a must situation now. That's 36 yard line, first and 10. Second time tonight that Ball State has started the drive inside the Nevada 45 yard line, length of his career. I just think the Cardinals are going to start running the football more. One lone receiver is Brent Campbell, and there's the handoff to Michael Blair. He gets past the first wave and it's inside the 30. Did he fumble the football? It is evidently loose, but picked up by Ball State on the sideline. Uh, Michael Blair never had okay, a Okay, here was dropped back and they uh, call Shudell. I would hate it to play against his team. First down and 10. Call it the 27-yard line. Baldwin. This time to Michael Blair. He's got five, six yards. He's run out of bounds at the 20. But Brent Baldwin took another hard shot. Boy, he sure did. But if you get five yards of crack, Brent can take it. Well, he's got great heart. We know that. 22-yard lob. We got a Cardinal jumping off sides and jumping off for the Cardinals and making contact. Eric Lowe's, I think, will be. And now a late flag is thrown 
style of war yet. I think we, you, you and I both feel that uh, they will not end this game with 12. Ready. Second down and 10. The ball back to the 27-yard line. And this time it's Leandre Moore making the turn at the corner. He gets down to the 20-yard line. So he got seven yards on a second and 10. It'll be third down and three. Le Needs to get the, the four yards along four to get this conversion. They're going to pass it. Ed Abernathy is in. He'll be the primary receiver. But the Bargain doesn't have time to throw. Now he does flag. And Abernathy fell down to the end zone. But there's the front server. Cardinals play to get hot. Baldwin back in the shotgun. He hasn't been under center over five or six times tonight. Oh, the gap, the blitz is on. He shakes the blitz, but they get him back at the 40. No game. Fourth down. Back deep for Nevada. Garnett Overby is one. And Inslee is the other. And Maynard this time may have succeeded inside the 10. Faircats called for at the 13-yard line, and well below 20 points, they lost. They still have 12, but we've got a long time left. 10.43 to play in the third period of play. There's a good hit, but not before seven yards. On radio, Ball State Cardinal, Las Vegas Bowl 5 on 104.1 WLBC in Muncie. Dutton on the fake, rolling out play action. Short hopping pass, a good hit, but still a first down, and the Cardinals are all over the receiver and never do bring him down, really. That time it was uh, blocking, but uh, that's what he's known for, an outstanding tight end who could block. On the 28-yard line, it's a first down and 10. Dutton to Lemon again, and Lemon comes back and shoots it up the middle for six and five. One wide out either way. Earlier in the game, they were going two each way. Lemon has been doing a good job of running and keeping the attack a little more varied for Nevada. This time a short drop and a quick out and an infant. It's the free throw and Bull State's intercepted. Keon Lewis at the 30 yard line. There's two flags dropped following Keon's interception on the deflection. And again, the Cardinals get the tip pass, and I'm sure the Cardinals are going to be penalty. Nevada territory, the third time they've had this opportunity. Brent Baldwin with two wide outs to the far side, the lone setback. Baldwin needs to uncork to somebody other than Marcellus Davis, and he'll fake the draw out on the flat. He's got the pass to Marcellus Davis. He catches his fourth pass, but again, it's short variety. A play on first down by any means. Michael Blair is back in a tailback for the Ball State Cardinals. Dave Curtin, the fullback, and Blair's hit. Two-yard loss back to the first balls of California Raisin Bowl, and this is the second Las Vegas Bowl for them. Snapped the ball, went out of the gun. He's got a nice throw. I thought he had it, but he couldn't keep it. Michael Blair made a great effort for a willing catch that far week in preparation for the game. We thought the defense would do their part, but the key to the game might be how productive Ball State's offense could be against a good Nevada defense, and that's been true. And Maynard will come to the corner, and they'll let it bounce. It'll bounce inside the 15 and go down inside. Did it go out of bounds or not? Oh, no, it, it went out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Best he's done tonight on placing it inside the 10. And the Wolf Pack will go from its seven. And the Cardinals still want to get out of the state. Two yards. They were not an overly big play kind of team. Dutton will give to Lemon. He tries to squirt outside. The Cardinals are there. Corey Gilliard. So well on special teams this year. They think he'll be ready in 1997. Well, he blocked two punts this year. And Dutton's rolling out. He's got some pressure. Let's it fly. It is incomplete again. Deflected. The deflected. <laughs> And let's see if the Cardinals come after him here on third down, deep in the roof pack territory. Well, he's come through on some of these third and long situations. He's back to pass again. He lets it fly down the middle. He's got it. That goes to the front of an incompleted pass. Oh, all of the notes on the, the Nevada Wolf Pack is um, in punt return situations. They just did not give war against Central Florida. Maybe special teams has got to make the big play tonight. Well, McLean will kick it from his end zone deep. Keon Laws will wait at his own 45-yard line, and the Cardinals would like to get another good field position try against the Nevada Wolfpack. They've had some bad snaps. One, they could not get a kick off. This time he gets a high spiraling kick, and Keon will come in, and well, he scoops it up. There was a flag throw. There was a flag throw. He scoops it up at the 45-yard line. Henry, uh, the big 6'3", 270-pound, uh, defensive lineman. 
First down and 10, ball stayed in zone, 44-yard line. Down by five, fake the inside handoff. Baldwin spreading out toward the sideline, fakes the pass, will run it for eight yards. Red Baldwin runs for eight yards, got a good block out in front of him, which helped him down the stretch. Well, that's not his job, but he's certainly willing to try everything he can. There's Leandre trying to dive in. He gets the first down. Nine. It's just awfully hard against a defense like this to keep getting eight and nine yards. On the 44, first down and 10. See what happens on the first down this time. There's Baldwin trying to keep it. Nothing doing this time. They were waiting for Brent. He lost the yard. Good news is five minutes to play in the third, and it's just a five-point difference in favor of Nevada. On the 44, the Cardinals. Look at Long. Baldwin's got, got away. And then he's hit from behind. Well, I thought he got away and had a chance, but then he was right at the 10-yard line. Third and 14. Baldwin's back to pass. Trying to scramble. Short pass. It's complete, but it's for a little yardage. Five yards. Marcel. You exceed the Cardinal receivers a little bit, and they're having a difficult time. Plus, Baldwin doesn't have the time to wait around for anybody to get open. He's under a heat. Yeah, he doesn't have a second or third try. Is Again, Brad Maynard will try to pin it down inside the five, and it hits at the five and goes back to the ten, and the Cardinals fall on it at the 11-yard line. And again, Nevada will have it deep in its territory as Maynard not showing off distance, but, just but showing off accuracy tonight. I'm thinking of all those promos that ESPN ran for the last month talking about the high-scoring Little American Conference in Big West Las Vegas Bowl. 3.13 to play in the third quarter. Just keep them in their own territory. That's the bottom line. And they don't start. Get, don't make a mistake and give up a big play. At the 11. New quarterback in, Jeff. They go with Bennett. Bennett has come in at quarterback, and he completes a pass for 11 yards. Much, but my guess is they're just trying something yeah. else. Second or first down and 10 at the 22-yard line, and Bennett's back to throw on play action, and he's got another receiver. It's a completed pass, and catching the ball is Trevor Hensley. This one that has been almost the entire third quarter. First down and 10 for the Wolfpack. They lead it 12 to 7. We're in the final two and a half minutes of the third period. And Lemon will run into a brick wall. He got a couple of yards on forward progress. But hopeful by pay as the time marches off, it becomes more and more a possibility. Second down and 8, 38 yard line. Bennett's back to pass. Pressure. They got him. Bennett's hit. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, and the Cardinals are there, and Brian Williams, the senior from Indianapolis, made the initial stop. We've got a 48-yard line. Third down eight. Bennett with his biggest play of the night. The rush is on as he wiped up, and it's an incomplete pass, and wiping Bennett out of the big screen at BW3. Fits again. But you know, all that, and it still was a drop by the uh, yeah. Nevada receiver, it could have been a real trouble. Yeah, because Bennett got it away, and a pass should have probably been caught. McLean is waiting. He wants a good snap. He's no runner, he says. He gets a good snap. He puts probably his best kick of the night in the air. Keon calling fair catch. <laughs> got it. At the 24-yard line, the Cardinals take over first. That but didn't, so seven of the last eight. They have not gotten into Ball State territory in the second half. Now we've got the... Out of bounds, but there's a flag thrown at the 30-yard line. Another good hit 
by special teams for virtually the entire fourth quarter to go. Well, they've led the whole game, obviously, and now Who's quarterback? Bennett, I think, is still in there. Yes, he is. Bennett will step back to throw, and he's got a reception. There's Trevor Inslee. It does almost the opposite of what your score does. It really puts a huge distance between Nevada and Ball State. There's a little swing pattern out of the backfield and catching the ball is uh, Damon Wilkins their second half, but they are just six yards away right now. From the 44, Bennett gives to Lemon, and he will run into his own man, but still get the first down and go into Ball State territory. One more challenge here early in the fourth quarter. They've done an outstanding job against the top offense in the country as Bennett goes back to pass. He's hit. It's a catch. The Cardinals need a turnover. And it's been Eric Bennett off the bench who has done the good job for Nevada. They'll try to get something. This the year Nevada gets over the hump. Hopefully it won't be against the Cardinals. 12-yard line, the fake, and Bennett rolling out. And oh, great, a great deflection in the end zone. The Cardinals get a great deflection. Mm -hmm. Eric Bennett. That's what they needed. 12-yard line, third down eight. Bennett, quick out. Look in, he's got a touchdown, yes, touchdown. David Wilkins catches it and goes 12 yards for the score. That's his second touchdown. has never really gotten started tonight as a short kick and they'll say Cardinals have the football. They just have to move the football and they have to put some points on the board. Brent Baldwin, the senior quarterback from the 36. Out of the eye, fakes the draw. There's the out of the flat again to Marcellus Davis. Again for three or four yards. It's just the most quarter played in the inside the Nevada 40. So on a second down and so good. Nothing doing. Andre Moore got the buckets, and that's just really amazing. It's 63 of that on one play. Well, that says a lot for the Nevada defense. You bet. Back to throw is Brett Baldwin. He's got a short completion to Ed Abernathy, but enough for a first down. So there's been these things with a mindset that their defensive personnel to say, hey, we're not going to let an Ed Abernathy get anything. Jason Kent is in at fullback for Dave Curtin now. And the handoff, Michael Blair, bumps off a tackle, but still goes down. The guy who hit him for play, and with a big defensive mistake by Nevada. Both are possible, but this is a tall order now. Second down and six, and Baldwin almost bumped into his line, and now has to try to come back, and he's lost to the ground in a big defensive. It will last Vegas more five, the one that the Cardinals win or the Wolfpack win. Neither has won a bowl game, and the Wolfpack right now with an advantage, and there's the pass thrown behind Michael. The less your offense is moving, and that certainly tells the tale of this game. Take away Leandre Moore's 63-yard rush tonight, and the Cardinals' net yardage is probably about 50 yards. Maynard gets the snap. That will go down inside the 15 and is caught at the 12-yard line on a fair catch and handling the ball very well. His Don was, was overshadowed by their offense all year, and it turns out they had a great defense, too. One of the things Bill Lynch talked about, too, is it's easier to keep your defense on target after a, a player 32 yards, so Chris Lemon ends up with, uh, to this point, a pretty good night. There's the fake, Bennett's back to pass, throws with ease, but overthrows Inslee as wide chore because no one has really come to the front as far as being a consistent offensive performer tonight. It's third down and seven from the 15. Bennett hits the inside man, and there he goes. 
You're saying you got 41 degrees. I don't we care got what three. the difference is. They're just as frozen right now as anybody in Muncie. <laughs> Set for the punting situation by McLean. He has to leap up, but he gets it away. Close, but no cigar for Presley, and it will bounce into the end zone. And the Cardinals. Jeff Weller, we're at the Sam Boyd Silver Bowl here in Las Vegas, Nevada. They're not red zone threats, no, right? Not, means, yeah. But they certainly have, they, they'll never be able to look back on this game and say that field position was right. their problem. No, they had it inside the 43 times in the third and came up with nothing. Back to throw is Brent Baldwin, and that's well overthrown. A lot of bumping, but, but the, the Cardinal offense, but again, I think the underestimation of the four units, offense and, uh, for each team and defense for each team, the Nevada defense has been superior. Inside handoff to Michael Blair. Michael will churn for four. In fact, you tell me Nevada gets 18. Defensive line has had a hard time giving Baldwin the proper amount of time to find the receivers when they have been open. Back to throw, Brent Baldwin. Look out, look out, he's down. No game, hit back on the 20 yard. He will kick for the umpteenth time. We've, all, we've said all year that the Ball State offense was just good enough. Yep. And we didn't mean that as a negative. It was good enough for eight straight and made it another boomer. This will be back to the 25-yard line, and there's the run back, 5, 10, 15 yards, and running it back for Nevada with you. <laughs> Las Vegas ball, 5. Nevada has the upper hand, certainly. Eric Bennett standing in, throwing deep, and almost intercepted, but not quite. No Chris Lennon is the running back. Again, he has been a small factor. Back to throw Bennett. Oh, he hit as he threw it, and he got it away for a completion. The noisy who popped up the football, but they call it incomplete. Boy, there was a yeah, and Nevada stopped that ability for Ball State to run the football, and that has been the overall key to the game. Now, they have been stopped before this year. There's a great catch by Inslee. Yeah, flying squirrel can find one acorn, but can they find a whole bunch of them? Well, that's an old one, too, well, but, it, but it certainly is appropriate. And here's Chris Lemon getting outside, and Aaron Greylock drags him down with a jersey. Just after noon, with a 1 o'clock tip-off for Ray McCallum's Cardinals against Northeast Louisiana. And we'll be there. We'll be a little tired, but, but happy. But not because of the outcome of this game, probably. McLean, low-line drive. He and Laws has to let it bounce above his head, and it will go all the way down to the 20-yard line of Ball State in the Cardinals. Parmalee. 
Red Dog went into the ground for a tough performance. Just didn't get enough offense unless it comes here in the final three and a half minutes. They go with the draw to the 18-7. Nevada with 3-14 to play, and there's a drop ball. Dog and passing to Blair. Whistle and Brent's limping badly as he comes away from center as we have another whistle. Dave McLean had a championship in 76. Dwight Bein, they got another slot at it. Fourth down and two. They're at the 45 of Las Vegas, but they really haven't threatened inside the red zone all evening long. And there's a great effort by the Cardinals. Michael Blair needs the time left on the clock. Other than a few. The seniors, the 17 seniors, are playing their final football game. Michael Blair catches a pass. Immediately, seniors completing their careers. A lot of them fifth-year seniors. Baldwin standing in down the middle over the head of Brent Campbell, the junior from Winchester. It is in tonight. And the flight home tomorrow night. And with the seniors, finish those degrees. There's a nice completion to Ed Abernathy, who catches his second pass of the night. If they get a touchdown, then they could kick on sides. Then if they got the ball, then if they could score again, and Abernathy falling down, and Baldwin thought he had dressed traditionally. Rex never was on the sidelines without shorts, regardless of the temperature. There's Adrian Reese catching a pass.
for a score. Two-point conversion to Abernathy. Cut it to three, 18-15, got the ball back. Couple of good tries, then intercepted by Mike Crawford, the player of the game, who's been a massive man on defense as Lemon runs the ball again and will have a first down. Took them back to the 40 out of field goal range, and we commented at that time that was a tough break and a tough penalty. Bennett will hand off to Lemon again, and he will hit the 30 and get another three or four yards. He'd been... We're down to the final one minute, 15 seconds after an interception. Nevada has the ball at the 30-yard line of Ball State. They lose a yard. The cut up nothing better than to uh, obviously to have won this football game. He's just thinking of the opportunities that they did not cash in on. Jamie Linda will be down on the field talking with Bill Lynch and get his final comments about Las Vegas Bowl 5 as we're down to River in bull competition. And the Cardinals will be over. 0 for 5.